Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hopefully, you guys tuned in this past weekend. Teofimo Lopez versus Pedro Campa. I thought it was a good fight, but let's go one by one, kind of like breaking it down. So first off, did Teofimo look good in that fight? I would say yes. Did he look as explosive as he does at 135? That one's a little bit questionable because I thought, yes, he was, he was you know, out there. He was explosive, but I would say not as electric as he was at 135. When he went in there, landed those power shots, you saw significant damage against his opponents. In this fight, I would say either, you know, Gampa has a great chin or two, Theofimo just has a little bit more work to do. You know, the power was there. He dropped him. But at the same time, Gampa just took shots. He took shots from Theofimo and Theo, he landed on Theofimo too. So, I mean, overall, I thought it was a good fight. But, um, you know, at the end when he when he was, you know, celebrating, you know, it still wasn't the same exact celebration that you would see before. You know, Theofimo is known for celebrating after his fights, doing those backflips and all that. But you saw the emotion in this past fight. You saw how much it meant to him to come back, you know, going up and get that win after his loss to Cambosos. Um, as far as calling out the top guys in the division, I would say hold a little bit. Just wait a second. Before you go on and take guys like Chon Cepeda, I would take maybe another tune-up fight before you get anyone else like that. Because these guys at 140 have been there. They've been taking these big shots from 140, from 140 guys. And, you know, you're new to this division. Might as well get a little more adjusted. You know, get work out all the flaws still, you know. Like, for example, in this fight with Pedro Campa, what could have been going through Diofimo's head after landing huge shots repeatedly on um, on Campa and Campa didn't go down? Maybe for one split second, Diofimo could have been like, do I still have that power? Am I going to drop this guy? I'm throwing everything I have and he's still right here in front of me. So Diofimo, I thought it was a good, you know, good performance. But at the same time, Still needs to make those adjustments at 140, which is, you know, it's expected. He just went up. So we'll see how that turns out at the end, though. They did mention Ryan Garcia's name with Theofimo. With the Ryan Garcia fight, if I'm Ryan, I wouldn't take the fight. But you never know if that fight would actually happen because you've seen that Ryan Garcia calls his names out. The names are out there and then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't go. The, the fight falls. It doesn't happen. But. Theofimo, like he said it well. He said, if, if, if I can't get a fight with these top guys, then I'll take the Ryan Garcia fight, which is like, he's going to go in there. He's an opponent. Yeah, I'll take the fight. If that fight did happen, number one, Ryan Garcia would have to go to the drawing board, you know, stop putting his chin up in the air like that. Use that defense more. Work on the footwork. Basically work on all of the flaws that he still has because he's fighting. he would be fighting a guy that's explosive, they're both basically on the same level of going from 135 to 140. So they've been fighting against 135 guys. You saw the power that Theo has. You saw the power that Ryan has. But the resume of each one is very different. Some might say Ryan has the height. He has the, the reach. Yes, but it's not like Ryan necessarily uses the reach all the time. And Theo Fimo adjusts in the ring. So... I don't know. I wouldn't say like, you know, it would be that crazy of a matchup because at the end of the day, Theo Fimo, in my opinion, is on a different level. Ryan Garcia has a lot of work to do. Every fighter always has work to do. But as far as taking Theo Fimo next, I would say, like I said, for Theo Fimo against these guys, against these top champs at 140, take a, a tune-up fight. Same with Ryan. I mean, take another tune-up fight. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say, but as far as fighting Theofimo, I wouldn't say, I would say it's the best move for Ryan as in you're fighting Theofimo who just came off of a loss against Cambosos. So as far as the Theofimo train going up and him being like, you know, no one can beat me. I'm unstoppable. That kind of broke down a little bit after the Cambosos fight. So that would be the only plus for Ryan is the fact that Theofimo hit a wall in a way that could be seen as a slump in his career. So you're finding a guy that now maybe questions himself or could question himself in the ring. That would be like the only advantage. Other than that, Theofimo's solid. A fight against him, 
take it easy and one, take it serious. Don't don't be on focus on anything outside of the ring except for the fight with Theo Fimo. I wouldn't even do talking. I wouldn't even say I'll knock him out in this many rounds. I mean, you could to sell the fight, but realistically, would that be believable? I don't think so. Let me know what you guys think below. I mean, is, is that analyzation just too far off or do you guys agree? Do you guys think that Ryan Garcia versus Theo Fimo is kind of a fight that I th that would be a little too much for Ryan right now? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. And tell me what you guys think about the Ophimo's performance, um, this past performance against Pedro Campa. Was it what you guys expected? Did you guys expect it to go the, you know, the seven rounds that it did? Or were you guys expecting it to finish early because of that explosive start in rounds one and two where it kind of looked like Campa was just going to get knocked out but didn't? Let me know what you guys think below. If you're new to this channel, thanks for tuning in to Boxing with B and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Maybe hit the like button. If you head on over to Instagram, be sure to follow me at Boxing with B on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Get ready to fight. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. This is the guy that's going to give him the biggest fight. Then guess what? Boxing with B. Boxing with B.